Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to retrieve the orientation sensor values on a Samsung Android device, specifically the sensor related to the phone's position. I'll then display these orientation values in a visualization using the SVG graphic format. The video on how to create SVG visualizations can be found in my previous video. Let's get started. To test the sensors on an Android phone, you can access them by dialing asterisk hash zero asterisk cache. This will display several options or boxes where you can conduct tests, including testing various sensors, among other functionalities. In this video, I'll be utilizing Node-RED installed on Android. First, please install Termux and Termux API. Afterward, proceed to install Node-RED. For guidance on how to install Node-RED on Android, please watch my previous video. To view the list of available sensors on an Android device using the Termux terminal, you can enter the command Termux Sensor L. This command will display a list of sensors present on the Android device. It's important to note that the list of sensors may vary between different Android devices. To view the values of a sensor, we can type a command in the Termux terminal, Termux Sensor S followed by the sensor's name. In this example, I'll be checking the data from the Samsung Orientation Sensor. receive data from the Samsung orientation sensor in JSON format. These values will be periodically generated. The data obtained consists of three values. According to developer.android.com related the sensor information, the orientation sensor comprises three values, azimuth, angle around the z-axis, pitch, angle around the x-axis, and roll, angle around the y-axis. These values are measured in degrees. In this video, I'll be visualizing the azimuth value in an SVG format. This is the simple of Node-RED flow. The important part of this flow involves an exec node, where I'll execute the command to retrieve sensor values using Termux Sensor Samsung Orientation Sensor N1. This command fetches the Samsung Orientation Sensor value only once. This command will be triggered by an inject node set to repeat at specific intervals to continuously retrieve sensor values. Then, utilizing a JSON node, the output from the exec node will be converted to JSON format payload. Subsequently, a function node will be used to extract each value from the JSON format. The data obtained from the azimuth or phone rotation will be sent to various visualizations, namely a gauge, text, and an HTML template. These visualizations will represent the phone's rotation using SVG graphics. This is the dashboard interface. It includes an image of a phone that will rotate according to the phone's position obtained from the orientation sensor. Additionally, there are other visuals like gauge and text display. There's a reset position button to set the rotation degree value back to zero, aligning it with the current position. Now, let's test the dashboard. Make sure to run Node-RED on Termux. Next, access Node-RED through the tablet's browser using the IP address of the smartphone. From this experiment, we can conclude that we can fetch orientation sensor values from Node-RED using an exec node to execute Termux sensor commands. The acquired data can be displayed within a dashboard. For visualizing the phone's rotational position, I utilized a template node displaying an SVG image corresponding to the phone's rotation. One drawback observed is that at times, it takes longer to obtain sensor values, and occasionally, the accuracy is subpar. This variation might be influenced by the specifications of the smartphone being used.
Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this video proves to be helpful and serves as inspiration for creating even better projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.